this is Rachel with Lindsay Rays Artistry, and um, you can find me on my website that I have, LindsayRaysArtistry.com, and I'm also on Instagram, and I have a Facebook page as well. Today I'm going to be doing my background for uh, my 20 famous people. Um, this is going to be the background for uh, Tina Turner. Hopefully I'll get some cells in here. This is called a mixed pour. Um, this is where you take blue wall, excuse me for the noise of the tape here, and various paints, and you uh, get your portions, proportions in there. Like you can put a third of blue wall and a third of paint and a little bit of water. And then you just mix it up in a little cup. Of course, you get these cups at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Any grocery store has them. So as I mentioned, although this is watered down pretty well, the paint actually ended up being pretty thick. So if you are new to doing mixed pours, um, I would suggest that you practice with what you have. If you already have a supply of acrylic paints at home, then go for it. Um, but the difference between the glue all and like your school glue, um, the difference is, is the glue all is a much more concentrated version of the Elmer's glue. And actually I purchased a large um, gallon of mine because I use it for more than just making mixed pours. And as you will see in future videos, I'll share that with you, that I use the glue all in multiple things when I'm doing my textured art. I also use a lot of other mediums, pouring mediums as well. Floetrol has been recommended by many of the other people that do mixed pours on YouTube channels. And if you want to get into mixed pours, it's a lot of fun. It's a quick, very, very quick and easy way to create art and it doesn't require you to have a lot of drawing skills or anything like that. However, I will say this, it can get very costly if you're not careful. So my advice to you is to try to set up a small budget and start small on small canvases and on small surfaces and practice, practice, practice. I'd also suggest if you have any type of experience with paint or art or crafts of any kind um, that you do again dabble in it, but do a little bit at a time. Don't try to go out there and buy large canvases because it can get very expensive in a very short period of time. If you are interested though in doing mixed pours and are interested in looking more deeply into the type of tex textured art that I do, then subscribe to my channel because I will be adding more videos as time goes along. Thank you very much for watching and my advice for you today is to try something new. If you have, congratulations, great job on doing so. And if you haven't, give yourself a start, just like Madam C.J. Walker always says. Thank you very much again for watching. <laughs> Do another canvas. I think I might have to simplify the, the colors a little bit, but so far it is starting to sell up a little bit. As you can see here, I don't know, um, right in here, hopefully these lines will stay defined when it dries because probably I may have added too much water but I didn't add that much water this time so hopefully they'll stay defined and if they do then I might just leave this like it is and sell it just like it is and not <laughs> use it as a background because it's so beautiful um, we'll see how it looks when it dries but if it blends like I said I'll go back to using it for 
background for Tina Turner's drawing.